In triangle ABC, points D and E are on sides AB and BC, respectively, such that DE is parallel to AC, and AD and DB are partitions into ratios of 3 to 5. So DE is parallel to AC. So immediately I know that triangle DBE it will be similar to triangle ABC. How do I know that? Because the corresponding angles are going to be congruent and the two triangles are going to be similar based on angle-angle theorem. The other information that said was the um, side lengths AD to DB have ratios of 3 to 5. I don't know what side length AD is, so um, I'm going to call uh, this side length AD 3N, and I don't know what side length DB is, so I'm going to call that 5N to maintain that ratio, 3N to 5N. 3 to 5. If db is equal to 6.3, so db is equal to 6.3, so that means 5n is equal to 6.3, ac is equal to 9.4, what is the length of de? So I want to know what this guy is. So Oh, and, it's, and we have to round our answers to the nearest tenth. Okay, so because the two triangles are similar, I can then establish a proportion. I can say x over the corresponding side is 9.4, right? It will equal to, I don't even have to know this value here, um, to, to be frank. And that piece of information there, you can use it or you can or you can leave it. We're going to end up in the same place, I guarantee you. Um, that is if the author wrote the problem correctly. So the segment DB, right, has 5N. Let's say I don't know 6.3. I want to say it's 5N. And then AB, the overall segment, will be 8N. So look what happens to the Ns. They cancel. So I have x over 9.4 is equal to 5 eighths. Or I can say x is equal to 9.4 times 5 eighths. And let's see what that is. So this is going to give me 5.9 roughly because it says for rounds in the nearest 10. So x is approximately 5.9. So let's say if I didn't... Um, Let's say if I did use the 6.3, we can still figure out what that is. Um, but, but in order for us to figure out what um, x is using 6.3 there, I will also need to figure out what is the length of AD here. right? So if 5n is equal to 6.3, I'm going to figure out what n is. So if 5n is equal to 6.3, n will therefore equal to 6.3 divided by 5, right? So I'm going to say 6.3 divided by 5, that's 1.26. And I'm going to multiply 1.26 by 3, that will be 3.78. And in order for me to accomplish this, I'm going to say x over 9.4 again. It will equal to 6.3 over 6.3 plus 3.78. And I guarantee you we're going to end up in the same place. So 6.3 over 6.3 plus 3.78. What is that? I'm getting lazy here. So plus... 6.3, that is 10.08. I want to cross multiply both sides by 9.4. So 9.4 times 6.3, all over 10.08. 9.4 times 6.3, divided by 10.08. And you can see here we end up in the same answer, 5.875. So 
so roughly 5.9. So it's option three.